the model barrier widget. All the orange is what we call the model barrier. And when we click on it, this will disappear and we can reactivate the model barrier by clicking on this button. And I will show you how to create this with your Flutter app. We start by creating a variable activated, which will be set as true. Inside the stack widget, we will create the children. The first one is a center, which will be the elevated button. The onPress function will trigger the set state, which will change the value of the activated Boolean. If it's true, it will be false. If it's false, it will be true. The child of the elevated button is a text reactivate. After inside this stack widget, we will create a if condition. If it's activated, then we will create an opacity widget with the opacity 0.4 and the child will be the model barrier. There is an argument called dismissible. We will set this one as true. The argument on the mist will have a set state which will reverse the value of the activated Boolean. I also added a color orange so it's more visual for you. Okay, so when I click on this, it will not press on the button, but deactivate the model barrier. And then I will be able to click on the button. But if you want, you can set the dismissible to false. And in this way, no matter what, how many times I click on the screen, this will never remove the model barrier. And this was how to use the model barrier with your Flutter app.